Hi, my name is Graham Potter and in the workshop today we've brought you uh, a beautiful old Japanese Shimpaku Juniper. Shimpaku is a wild variety, fairly common in Japan, and have, in recent years it's fallen out of favour with certainly European bonsai artists in favour of other varieties like Kishu and Itoigawa that are much smaller and much tighter. Shimpaku is one of my own personal favourites because certainly here in the UK it grows very well. It seems to adapt very nicely in, uh, to our weather. It grows vigorously, it grows rapidly and that helps us to develop good quality bonsai from this type of material. This tree has come from a famous nursery in Japan uh, and it's obviously been neglected for a long time. The foliage has got very long, uh, some of the branches have become very weak, other areas have become very strong. <clears throat> And overall, it really is just a bush. This really is just kind of become a garden bush, unfortunately. So the work we're going to be doing with you for this movie is to go through and really restore this tree to what it was before. One of the areas we're going to be focusing on as we work on this tree is this uh, large piece of deadwood. This is obviously completely natural, and here we've just got one very large, uh, very old, mature, rolled live vein. But this deadwood is just, you can actually still see the chainsaw cuts in it that have happened uh, in Japan. And while it looks okay, it can be improved considerably. The other thing is, you can see at the base here, uh, it's been wet in the soil for a long time. It's beginning to rot. That's something we're going to have to deal with. And I really want to make this wood look much more elegant and much more interesting. Because this tree has been neglected for so long, the foliage has been allowed to grow largely unpruned. And as you can see here, we've got some very long, very thin branches uh, that are really no longer supporting themselves. As the weight of the foliage on the end has increased, the branches have begun to sink. And then the ends have turned themselves up. So that gives us quite a unique challenge in dealing with this material. Basically we've got to prune some of these long thin branches back, we've got to use some of the more compact ones and in doing so what that will do is begin to encourage back budding in the forks uh, of the branches so in future years we'll be able to prune the foliage away that's on the end in favour of the foliage that's behind it and that really is the process of uh, maintaining juniper as bonsai is that we have this continual replacement of foliage where the foliage on the end is removed in favour of foliage that's further in. Since obtaining this tree about six months ago, we've concentrated very carefully on the health uh, and on the vigour of the tree because when you get any new material you always have to satisfy yourself that it's strong because working on a weak tree generally will just make matters worse. And as you can see here, this nice long shoot is just one of many that this tree has thrown out really in the last two or three months. We've been feeding this tree very carefully, both on the soil and foliar feeding, and this is the result, nice long shoots. Now, these are not going to be any use in the design of this tree that we envisage, but it does show us that the roots are working very well, the tree is growing very strongly, and as a result, it's going to be able to stand the work that we're going to do over the next few days without any problem.